season's greetings and welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, has approved funding for the Nevis Geothermal Wells Drilling Project. That disclosure was made by Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley on Sunday, December 18th at the ceremonial inauguration of the new Nevis Island Administration. On December 9, 2022, we received the much awaited news that the Caribbean Development Bank had approved some US $17 million in funding for the drilling phase of the geothermal project. The drilling of the three production and two injection wells at the Hamilton site is set to commence in June of next year. This funding is a watershed moment in our geothermal project. After years of pursuing geothermal energy, we can now proclaim with a high degree of certainty that our geothermal ambition is finally within reach. Premier Bantley says the geothermal project promises to be transformational for Nevis and St. Kitts and the neighboring islands. No longer will we be subjected to the whim and fancies of the oil producing countries. No longer will we be held hostage to fluctuating oil prices. No longer will global conflicts determine the price of our energy supply and the cost of living to our people. There can be no question that geothermal energy will secure our energy independence and our energy security. A profound thank you must be given to the Caribbean Development Bank for allowing us access to this funding. We must also express our gratitude to Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew and his cabinet for their continued tangible and moral support as we pursue this critical project. The announcement follows consultations with residents of Hamilton Estate and the wider Nevision community in November on mitigating the impacts and highlighting opportunities the project may present. In more local news... Over the next five years, as your humble servants, our government shall construct a partnership with you, the Nevision people. A partnership for posterity. A partnership where everyone becomes their brother's keeper and their sister's helper. A partnership where peace and tranquility abound. A partnership where we take care of the most vulnerable. A partnership of love and respect. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, as he delivered his remarks following the swearing-in of the Cabinet of Ministers of the Nevis Island Administration on a Sunday, December 18th. Premier Brantley says his new government's partnership with citizens and residents can create a better Nevis. We can and must create a better Nevis. We can and must create a Nevis where all feel safe and secure. We can and must create a Nevis where our education and health systems are the envy of our neighbors. We can and must create a Nevis where small businesses, entrepreneurs and investors have confidence in our economic climate. We can and must create a Nevis where the rule of law is paramount. We can and must create a Nevis where government and opposition put aside political differences and work together for the benefit of all whom we serve. Today, I extend a hand of friendship to those in the NRP to join us as we together create a better Nevis for all. We shall meet on the political battlefield again in five years, no doubt. But for now, let us work together to build this fair land that we all love and that we all are privileged to call home. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mac Brantley. Still to come, government to partner with churches to reach the vulnerable. The details after this break. Tune in to NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me NC and you NC, NNC.
Welcome back. Partnership with churches and other faith-based organizations will be enhanced in 2023. That is according to Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Ecclesiastical and Faith-Based Affairs, the Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley. The government of St. Kitts and Davis will seek to collaborate with the church as a social partner to help to improve the overall conditions of the vulnerable and disadvantaged in society. The agenda of the Ministry of Ecclesiastical Affairs in 2023 includes skills training, enhancing counseling techniques, and bolstering the vibrancy of existing faith-based programs as priorities. As a predominantly Christian society, the government intends to designate a specific day when faith-based institutions are strongly encouraged to offer services inviting national reflection. In making his contribution to the budget debate on December 16th, Deputy Prime Minister Hanley said the government will identify a day of prayer and fasting for the nation and for families. He said the government will also bring pastors, ministers of religion, and leaders of faith together in a forum to share their vision on what they can contribute to nation building. In accordance with the Public Holidays Act, Monday 26th and Tuesday, 27th December are officially public holidays. The Act states, if Christmas Day falls on a Saturday, then the next following Monday shall be a public holiday. And if Christmas Day falls on a Sunday, the next following Monday and Tuesday shall be public holidays. Christmas Day is Sunday, December 25th, 2022. Therefore, according to the Act, the public holidays will be observed on Monday, December 26th and Tuesday. December 27th, 2022. All are asked to be guided accordingly. And that's it for this edition of the Davis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.